Good morning and welcome. We are at a festive season of Christmas and we are all excited for this season. And uh, today we want to look what is it all about. And uh, we want to share a word from the book of Luke, chapter 1 from verse 26. Let's pray. Father, we will thank you for the gift of a child that was born on Christmas Day. We invite you in our hearts, dear Lord, that you may have your pleasure. In Jesus' name we pray. We are looking from verse 26 when the news of the birth of the child was broken to Mary by angel Gabriel. And it says, verse 26, in the sixth month, God says the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, to a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man called Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greeting you, are, you who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled by his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel told him, Do not be troubled. The angel of God came to Mary, who was betrothed to be married to Joseph. So he was engaged. And when this news was told to her by the angel Gabriel, that she is going to have a child, she was greatly troubled because she had not known a man and she was still a virgin. But the angel told her not to worry because the power of the Lord shall overshadow her and she will have a child who will be called Jesus Christ who will be given the throne of David and for her the kingdom of Christ will have no end because the zeal of God will make it accomplished. Many other times we read this just as a history, as an event that happened 2,000 years ago, but it's still very much alive today as it was then. Every time a message is sent to us through the angels, through the clergy, through the preachers, through the ministers of the word, that a son should be born in our hearts. Many other times we take this news not as good news, but sometimes we are frustrated, sometimes we feel scared. We are not sure whether we are worthy to be called the bearers of this son, Jesus Christ. But even today, the angel of God, as he bring, brought the good tidings to Mary and to the entire world of the kingdom, that it will have no end, the kingdom of the Most High. It's the same today. If we open our hearts, we shall conceive this Son, Christ Jesus, the King of Kings, the Son of the Most High, in our hearts, and we will have the joy of joining the kingdom that will have no end. We need to open our hearts this Christmas as we celebrate the birth of Christ to Mary, the birth of Christ in the nation of the Jews, the birth of Christ in the throne of David. We also need to open our hearts to be coheres in the kingdom of God, this kingdom that Christ was coming to establish, a kingdom with no end. If we open our hearts and our mind to receive Christ as this festive season, just like Mary received, it's by faith that we conceive Christ in our hearts. We call him Lord and Savior in our lives, and our lives will be transformed. His kingdom will be established in our lives to no end. Even if we pass from this life to the next, we will still live and reign together with Christ in the next kingdom, in the kingdom of God that has no end. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.